Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what febrile seizures are, the difference between simple and complex febrile seizures, causes and symptoms of febrile seizures, what to do if someone has a febrile seizure, and treatment for febrile seizures. Febrile seizures are convulsions that are caused by a sudden spike in temperature. Infection is the most common cause of a febrile seizure. Febrile seizures often occur in children who do not have a history of neurologic symptoms or disorders. There are two types of febrile seizures, simple and complex. Simple febrile seizures are the most common type. They can last from a few seconds up to 15 minutes. They do not reoccur within a 24-hour period and are not specific to one part of the body. A blood or urine test can be done to see if the child has an infection that is causing the seizures. In some situations, a spinal tap may be done to rule out any central nervous system infections, such as meningitis. Complex febrile seizures last more than 15 minutes and occur more than once in a 24-hour period. Often, they are confined to one side of the body. While most simple febrile seizures do not cause any long-term complications, complex febrile seizures can due to the loss of oxygen to the brain. Testing such as an EEG may be performed to pick up any abnormal activity in the brain. An MRI may be ordered if the child has an unusually large head, an abnormal EEG, signs of increased pressure in the skull, and a prolonged febrile seizure. Causes of febrile seizures are due to a sudden spike in temperature brought on by an infection. Symptoms of febrile seizures include a high fever or rapid rise in body temperature, loss of consciousness and or fainting, general muscle contraction and tremors lasting 15 to 20 seconds, biting of the cheek or tongue or clenching the jaw, losing control of urine or stool, and difficulty breathing. If you see an infant or child have a febrile seizure, remember to stay calm. Place the child on his or her side on a surface that will prevent them from falling and sustaining injury. Start timing the seizure. Make sure that there are no items around that can cause harm to the child. Do not restrain the child. Place a folded blanket or piece of clothing under their head to prevent injury to their head. By removing clothing, increasing air circulation in the room can help to reduce their body temperature. Do not put an ice pack on them or place them in the tub. It will cause more harm than help. Do not put anything in their mouth. If the seizure lasts more than five minutes or reoccurs, please seek medical attention. Medication is rarely prescribed for febrile seizures. For children who have complex febrile seizures, rectal diazepam or nasal midazolam may be prescribed to treat children when seizures last more than five minutes. These are known as emergency medications and are not used for seizure prevention. To learn more about febrile seizures, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.